Hello everyone, it's Junibug and today I thought I would play some Metroid Fusion. If you guys do not know me, I am a very big Metroid, especially Samus fan, if you're not able to tell by the plushie that I'm holding, as well as the overall like aesthetic and design of my VTuber model. It was very much inspired by Samus because Samus has been a huge inspiration in my life ever since I was a child. Just some quick background because this is a bit of an FAQ I get is my history with Metroid games. I was exposed to Samus from Smash Bros. 64. I found out she was a girl in Smash 64 from my brother and it blew my mind and I just thought she was the coolest ever and I really loved playing her in Brawl but I didn't start fully maining her until Smash 4 and Ultimate. Around the time I was in the 4, I won a Smash tournament with her at my college. It was pretty small, but like, hey, cool. And I decided like I should really commit to playing the game, so... I first played Metroid NES, I played Super Metroid, I played Zero Mission, Fusion, Dread... And more recently, uh, Prime 1 Remastered. I didn't have a GameCube, so I missed out on the Prime Trilogy and I also didn't buy the games on the Wii. I didn't play Other M. I have no plans on playing Other M as well. I really like Fusion a lot. I would say that I really want them to put uh, Zero Mission on there. Did I mention that I played Zero Mission? I did. But I really hope that Nintendo Switch Online will put Zero Mission onto the lineup for GBA games. Hey, you know, enough yapping. Let's go ahead and get started. I have the immersion on, I have my mask on, I'm ready for space exploration and comfy chatting. I don't know if I'll read too much of the story because I just want this to be more a casual hangout. This isn't really like trying to show off the game. I just want to hang out. I'm selfish. I know. I know. So, I really like this music. I remember, um, I remember hearing it as a remix in Smash Brothers Brawl, and it's just super cool. And when I found out it was from Fusion, I'm like, I really have to, I have to play this someday, man. I played Fusion right before Dread came out because I'm like, man, I don't know if I'm gonna get Dread right away. I don't know if I'll have the time to play it. And I ended up doing both, and I was pleasantly surprised that Fusion didn't take me nearly as long to complete as Super Metroid. So, it's a really cool story. I I was just really surprised that even though GBA games seem to be a lot more colorful and bright compared to... I don't know, even Super Metroid? Fusion is so... unsettling. And I, I always say when I play through Dread that I understand that the Emmy rooms, like there's Emmy zones, but I always think to myself that, man, imagine if the Emmys were free Roman, kind of like how SAX kind of roams around. I know it's scripted of where she goes, where you're going to encounter her, but it really just adds to that fear factor. And I tell people, as someone that's not really good with, like, scary things at all, that, um, that Dread and Fusion is the most I can handle. Like, this is exciting enough for me, because it's more like action exploration rather than, like, it's trying to necessarily scare you, scare you. I don't know. But maybe if I played these games when I was younger, I would have been more terrified. I know for myself. If I play Super Metroid as a kid, I would have been terrified of Mother Brain. And also, it was really cool. When I went to MAGFest this past uh, January 2024, there were two cosplayers that were putting on like a mini performance as 8, uh, not 8 bit, just Super Metroid Samus and Mother Brain, like the pixel sprites. And it was really amazing, and someone was just controlling this huge mother brain, like, you know, machinery. So you can move, like, her limbs, you can see her eyeball blinking, she can move each and every one of her fingers. But 
yeah, if you guys have a favorite Metroid game, please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Don't spoil Prime stuff because I've only played Prime 1. Yeah, I wonder... Gosh. I wonder how my perception of Adam would change if I played Other M. I'm trying to watch cutscenes to Other M, but I just like... Nah, I could not... I could not deal with it whatsoever. It just... <sighs> just rocked me to my core, man. <laughs> I watched like the beginning parts of it and I I did not have the strength to push on. I know it sounds terrible, but I don't know. I don't think people can blame me. I think one thing that was weird, uh, I've heard that usually Samus just loses all her power ups in the beginning somehow. I'd heard another M. Adam is like, um, you're not authorized, actually, to use these weapons, lady. And I'm like, bro, I'm freaking Samus Aran. I'll do what I want. Anyways, we have landed on our purple looking ship. Nice that it gives us a map to the whole research facility. It's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing reset samples from SR388 as well as parts of your suit infected by the ex-parasites. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Samus is like, Humph! You know, she's, she's just a little bit stubborn about it. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Alright, to quarantine bay we go. So let's see. Alright, so A is jump. <laughs> I'm so used to playing Dread, the... The shoot. Shoot is on Y. Or I guess it's on X. Right? Okay, yeah, it's on X. I guess Y maybe it's used as a button elsewhere. I feel so, like, spoiled that in these games, like, we're able to... Ledge grab like that? This man. Super Metroid and Metroid NES. Ooh. I think in Zero Mission you're able to do that. And I remember being like super excited about it. Like, oh, thank God I can finally uh, do these things, you know? Alright, I think quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Alright. We have linked up in the navigation room and now Adam will let us go as we please. Gosh, this music is so creepy. I love Metroid atmosphere. I was gonna say, I don't think we can go in through that top way. I'm gonna say, okay. I think we can just go back to the navigation room, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe we can be like, yo, Adam. Things are not looking cool. Things are not well in Legoland. I would like to go to Legoland maybe someday, but... <laughs> I don't know, I'm not much of a theme park person these days. Adam, I saw something weird. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by ex-parasites. Oh no, if only they had vaccines! They yeah, vaccinated people. X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it before the explosion and security sensors scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature, and they absorb DNA, blah 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 blah. Yap yap yap. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. Yeah, because Metroid are the predators of the X. The X is a really interesting thing. Really interesting, like threat, you know. This fusion takes place after Super, right? At least that's what I think. I need to watch Metroid lore videos and really just get... get a pep in my step, get a hop into it, you know? We must keep the accent of all the breeding environments. This is vital, Samus. I'm already detecting massive biosigns in this region. Next, they're gathering. They're having a party. They're raving. It's like the jellyfish rave in Spongebob. The Federation needs you alive. If you die, well, you're gonna be in big trouble. 
Now get going. I have uh, unleashed the the level zero locks or whatever blinking hatches. I read that a little bit too fast. Gosh, we had like such suspenseful music, and now it's like, all right, we're on a mission, everyone. We gotta, we gotta go. Okay, looks like a save room right up ahead. So I'll just pop a squat, pop a save, because always be liberal with your saving. You just never know what's gonna happen. I don't think there's like anything else in here worth noting. I wonder if Y will be like dash. Okay, no, never mind. Those are hatches for other places, so. Alright. To the place that I belong. Look at that person. They're dead. And then there's Chunky. He's dead. And that guy is just. Gooba gaba gooba gooba doob doo. Gooba gaba gooba ba. I'm gonna say, I think we need missiles to unlock that thing. Okay, Adam. What's the scoop now? What what happened since I took a two minute stroll? I received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. That's right. I forgot about that. Alright. Yes, we do need missiles. <laughs> this will help against some enemies. Your beam can't hurt. These are some hardcore enemies. They're like, your beam? That tickles. Objective clear? Yep, to the data room. There's a lot of rooms happening. I love that. <laughs> your chances will of 10% increase to 20%. You know? We take what we can get. Alright, so far so good. The elevator has not broken yet. I hope that, you know, nothing's trying to creep around. And Samus is thinking about... <laughs> About Adam. <laughs> he called me lady on missions from anyone else and would have sounded sarcastic. But Adam made it sound dignified. <laughs> I love how she's like, yeah, I'm just gonna name the computer Adam. <laughs> she's like, yeah, whatever. I could do what I want. Kind of fun that we get to see, like, some Samus personality kind of peeking through, you know? Alright, Adam. I'm in the data room. We're downloading internally. Okay, hold R and press B. Gotcha. I was gonna say... Mm. Okay, L is just aim up or down. Got it. Hey, Adam. I did it. I downloaded things right into my suit. I'm also downloading some viruses because I was looking at some bad sites. I hope that's okay with you. Do you have anything for that? It's so maybe related to that, so I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. Oof. It's located here. I'm reading huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. Otherwise, I'm gonna be Omega screwed. A special type of expert, so you'll see them. Try it out. All right. Don't hesitate to use them. Me, who's like, I must be conservative on all my stuff. <laughs> Oops. I think, if I'm not mistaken, we can just, uh, we can just get out right here. That's always, like, a little thing that Metroid likes you to do. They like to show you the new things that you have, and then you have to use them to get away. So now we'll get missile drops and health drops. Okay, I was gonna say, we can't climb that in that type of way. You know, okay, I was a little bit scared. I'm like, sometimes they show you the missile packs or like a nice little, a nice little thingy. And then it turns out like you can't actually, what is it? You can't actually do anything with it. Is there anything in this room? I'm not good at finding my trade secrets. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> We're good. All right, we'll just roll over this guy. And hey, look at that. We're we're already back. We're hip. It, what's happening? What's going on? I'm here to save the whole freaking planet. Don't mind me. Also, do you guys notice how my suit 
Flo reacts to the sounds going on. It's really cool. Ow. <laughs> I was thinking about how cool my suit was. Ah, oh, gosh, I hate this thing. Because... Because <laughs> sometimes it just likes to be rude. Like this. Stay away from me. Whoop. <gasps> now you close your eyes. <sighs> just... Bro, open your eye! Okay. <laughs> Alright, that should refill just about everything. I feel like I have to sneeze soon, so... I really like this, like, kind of creepy music. Metroid is just, like, the king of atmosphere. I wasn't sure if they were gonna make it so the E-Tank was, you know, it was gonna have, like, little crumbly blocks. Alright, our first boss... Just, you know... Just shoot him like that. Oops, that's not good. Oh! All right, look at that. We've. <laughs> I'm just gonna let myself get hit by that. I guess if we just, you know, tank and spank it, it'll die. So I'm happy about that. Oh, look at that. We we did it. We beat our first boss, and we got more fallibility. That's our dread. I feel like they don't give you a more fall until a little bit later. So, all right, we're rolling away. But now is a question or a matter of when we're gonna get our bombs, so we can kind of like do bomb jumps or. You know, roll around at the speed of sound. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was going to be a missile-only block. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> Are these guys, like, were, were these guys scientists that just got corrupted? Because, man, what a terrible and a sad little fate to have. Okay, can I open this room? Are they secrets? Don't hide any secrets from me. Oh, this is just a recharge room, sure. Might as well. Dude, how come the missiles, like, <laughs> why do they look like that? They look very, uh, suggestive. Alright, save room. I'm guessing we're gonna go to a navigation room to meet up with Adam and be like, Yo! We, we did the thing! <laughs> Man, Samus is so cool. I love her so much. Every time I've completed a Metroid game, or like, of my first time especially, on stream, I I've cried because I get so emotional when it comes to Samus. I know, like, I don't know. It, I feel like when I meet other Metroid fans, the way that they talk about their love of Metroid is very... I know this is, like, a very tense moment, but, like, let me have a moment, Adam. You're gonna have to wait. You know, I feel like a lot of Metroid fans I talk to, they're, they're really into the gameplay aspect. And, of course, like, the gameplay is so good. But I feel like I'm one of the few people that has, like, an emotional attachment to Samus and, like, what she really means to me. So, it's, like, always really fun. So, I really do like meeting Metroid fans and, like, you know, I don't allow backseating when I stream, but I always appreciate, like, when people are very kind with how they give advice and want to help me because I just don't want people being like, oh, you're dumb. You're like, watching is painful. I'm like, bro, I'm just here to chill. I just love Samus. Like, this is my motivation for anything. If I love a character enough, I I will just play the game. <laughs> All right, Adam, what's up, Samus? It's as I feared. The breeding environments have been invaded by X parasites. <gasps> no, time to go to Sector 1 SRX. It's a simulation of SR388 ecosystem. That's super cool, man. All right, go to Elevator 1. Use the navigation room just inside for further briefing. Blah, 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 blah. You know what's really... I think what I like about the fusion map is that you can just take elevators to go to whatever sections you want to. I guess in Dread... <laughs> wrong way, wrong, wrong way. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to go that way. It was just a prank. Wait, can I get something in here? Yep. Let's get a missile tank. But yeah, man, I'm always, like, really amazed with, like, how good... How good Metroid players are. People are like, yeah, I play all the time. I'm like, oh, I, I'm like, I just, you know, I just look at Samus and enjoy her a lot. I don't really know if there's, like, a secret in here, but, like, I want a secret if you're hiding one. Oh, never mind. I think this is just the way to go. <gasps> da da da! 
Here she comes, here comes SAX, she's a demon on X. Gosh, I love that facial shot, it's so cool. And the fact that she just blows up this entrance, like, does it need to do that? But she does. And meanwhile, Samus is like, yeah, I'm just chilling. She's like, I'm just looking around. Just investigating, don't mind me. Alright, sector one time. I should watch a, a fusion speedrun because I'm not too familiar with how it goes. I think I've watched one. Alright, Adam, I'm here to deal with, I think it's like the generators. We should be getting a special beam soon. Um, the main elevator leading to the access shaft has been severely damaged. I, and it will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. What a bummer. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful. Certainly not human. I, I have no clue what it is. Bum bum. Okay, so we just... Adam's pretty much talking about, like, we gotta destroy these stabilizers so there's, like, no more shenanigans going on. Bum bum. I feel like this game is a little more liberal with the save. Excuse me, the save places comparatively to... to, um... to Super? I really... I guess I really didn't need to do this, but whatever. I guess if you're like, oh, I accidentally used every single missile, you know? Alright, I'm just going to pop through over here. I guess- Ooh. Oh! Wow, that's huge! <laughs> I guess I could have just wall jumped from there. Me who's like, yeah, I like playing Metroid because it's the closest I can get to a horror game, you know? And then I'm like, uh, screams over everything. Okay, just four more online. Can I have your jello? Can I tell you guys something? I've actually never had a jello shot in my life. I don't know if that's really like a cool achievement to have, but I've always been curious of like what they're like. Oh. I'm like, I'm just gonna pop through here and get that E tank because it's fine. I don't really mind that I'm getting pummeled by things right now, right at the moment. I never know where like the most optimal routing is. Whoop! It's gonna jump over these guys because I just simply cannot be bothered to deal with them. And I feel like that's kind of like the fun of playing a Metro game is like as much as it can be a little bit overwhelming to get lost, also there's kind of a lot of pirates in here. <laughs> it's, it really is fun to get into that space exploration aspect. I clearly really like the the space aesthetics a lot, or like the cyber aesthetics a lot. So like this this is just something that's like always resonated with me. Like some people are really into like the high fantasy aspect, but like I don't know. I think it's really nice. I like it in some aspects, but like I tend like for myself and my own enjoyment as I miss everything. <laughs> um I I really just love like high electric, like types of things. Hello? Okay, I'm like, yeah, just l let me get out of here. Look at me just blow all the missiles. We just need three more of the stabilizers down. See, I think I can just grab onto this. Alright, what's going on? I guess we gotta, whoop, crawl or climb. Can Metroid crawl? Can she climb? What is she good for? What can she do? We just need two more. Whoop. Whoops. See, I'm not very good at aiming. I was not really, like, ever the most amazing uh, Overwatch player when I did play it back in the day. I ended up just playing a uh, Miss Diva. I ended up playing Diva because I just thought she was cool, man. Okay, well, that's awkward. I'm going to... I'm like, oh, I kind of need to get through this way, Mr. Space Pirate. Okay. 
Justina, I'm gonna politely uh, climb that way. I probably will have to use a missile here. <gasps> Owie! Alright, I'm like, you know, enough of this. Get out of the way. No more playing patiently. I got, <gasps> I got places to be. I got people to see and things to do. I don't have time to deal with these space pirate Scoobies. And there's Scooby snacks. I guess it's a good, good thing we came through that way. Whoop. Yeah, I killed a crab. These crabs are very annoying. Because they, they shoot these things. But I guess if they're all the way down there, it's fine. <gasps> I think I've, like, gotten... <laughs> I think I've fallen down there, like, every time I've played this game. I've never done it, uh, correctly on the first try. Um, is there, like... <laughs> I'm like, is there like a save room or a recharge room so I don't like, you know, uh, die? That'd be terrible. No. Just ah, oh, okay. It's just this is kind of just like a farm room. I'm guessing. <laughs> Yeehaw! I'm something but a, like like a simple farmer, you know. All right, the save has been complete. Yeah, man. The reason why though, I got into Metroid so much later in life. And later in life, I guess like 18. 18 years old. I hate you, actually. Open. What? Open. I wonder if I could sneak in one more missile. Wait, I actually. Can I open that without missiles? <laughs> I'm like, no! I guess I'm just gonna have to farm. I'm gonna have to farm X's in here to give me missiles so I can actually open the door. I should have been watching for that, I guess. Or give me your jelly! Thank you! I guess we're getting health, but I guess when I open the door too, I should be able to get a good refill on missiles and HP anyways. Okay, I- I need- I need missile goo! Okay, I'm just gonna go with eight. I think we'll be fine. It'll give us the red goo. I hate you. Please, open sesame. But anyways, the reason why I got into Metroid so much later on in life is because I mostly played games that my friends were playing and based on the word of mouth. And none of my friends, like, ever played Metroid. So I just I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> God, I I hate you. I keep anticipating it's going to be nice to me, and then it's never nice to me. What is this boss? Oh hi there. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, I'll just uh take it. Ow. Gosh, this music is so <laughs> Creepy. Can I just like tank everything that is shooting at me? Ooh. Can't ne necessarily jump out of it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we got charge beam. I thought it was gonna give us power bombs. All right, whatever. So that actually should just make life a lot easier in case I do run out of missiles. That should work. That should work. I. Gosh, dang it. If it doesn't work, then I will be sad. Alright, ooh, look at the way that it shoots that. Ow. Oh, that kind of hurty. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to walk through all these guys. Because, you know, I just, again, don't have the time of day. Alright, one more shoot. Should be good. One more unit still malfunctioning. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot these guys through. And then, let's see, it looks like there's still a couple of rooms left for exploration. So we'll go check it out. Oh, but a save room, again, you just never know what's gonna happen. I'm always really scared. When I was playing the Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, I was playing it on PC through Epic Games. And the amount of times that my game crashed and like I couldn't figure out why, like I updated my drivers, like I, I had no idea. 
it, it would crash. And sometimes it would crash after like a major boss fight. And it was so terribly stressful and upsetting. And <laughs> and I hated it. I did have to redo a few boss fights. So even when I play games like Harvest Moon, I guess, too, the save would be instant, at least on GBA, that I was always like really scared. <laughs> <laughs> that it didn't actually save properly. Oops. I got a. No, that's not. Ugh, I knew it was gonna do that. I knew it was gonna do that, so I meant to jump, but my jump input did not uh, go through. Okay. All stabilizers are online. Atmospheric levels equalized, so hopefully no more, no more shenanigans. Get out of here. Get out of here, you stinky ex. I guess. I guess we go report back to Adam. All right, yeah, looks like we have most of the area explored. I have only... I forgot, there is one Metro game that I forgot to mention that I did play. And I played Samus Returns, which I believe is like the remake, remastered version of 2. I've not played 2 originally, but I did play the one on 3DS and I... I loved it a lot. It was the only Metro game I actually 100% and I used a guide. I, I was very liberal about using a guide because I'm like, oh, whatever. Like, it's my game. It's my game experience. I'll enjoy it however I want. And <laughs> it took me a long time. It definitely took me. It definitely took me a good chunky chunk of time to do that. But I was really proud of myself because I really would love to 100% Super Metroid someday, but it's just really hard. All right, what do we got, Adam? I did, as you were told. Show us what's going on. I'm Mr. Stabilizers Online. Good job, Samus. A plus. Gold star. But many X have already made it to other sectors. Now, in particular, Sector 2, TRO, the tropical habitat, shows abnormalities. I suspect the X entered the sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He or it may be in TRO now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Is your objective clear? Okay, so moving, I'll brief you at TRO Navigation Room. Cool, cool. All right, well, we'll go ahead and end there. We'll tackle Sector 2 perhaps next time. So thank you guys so much for coming to chill, chat, relaxing, hang out, hopefully maybe relaxing uh, for Metroid Fusion. And I, again, hope that you guys enjoy these videos. These are really fun and relaxing for me to make. Like, I don't know, it feels like it. Even though right now I'm talking to myself, I feel like it's a really nice way to connect to all of you guys who are watching. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Metroid series, on Samus, or just other things going on or the lore. Um, and if you like the videos, I'm very bad at talking, but I would really appreciate it if you subscribed or even liked, liked or left a comment. Slam that like and subscribe button, sorry. It's only really if you if you really do want to support me or if you really do enjoy the stuff. And if you want to catch me live and like hang out with me in real time, I am live on twitch.tv slash juniebug and I'd love to see you guys there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Love you, care you. Bye bye!